hello ghouls and goblins. So this is a special Halloween episode of Wrestlers That Make Me Happy. Um, I was originally going to do a different wrestler, but then I was like, well, Halloween's a week away, so let me do something kind of in the spirit of Halloween. So you may be looking at my makeup going, ooh, that looks fantastic. Well, let me check out how to do that little number. Well, fear not. I have left a little uh, link in the description for this look uh, tutorial that I did right before this taping. So if you are liking the look, check that out. If not, let's go ahead and get to the action. So uh, for this episode, I'm going to be doing Ariel from ECW otherwise known as Shelly Martinez. Now Shelly Martinez um, had done quite a bit of work um, right from the 2000s kind of up until 2005 uh, on the indie circuit in California. She was also known as an actress and model um, and uh, she had a very short stint in, in WWE as um, a tarot reader uh, and manager of, I'm sorry, not manager, valet of Kevin Thorne. Uh, and she was definitely known for her amazing rack, an amazing ass, uh, and also how she rocked it in the ring style-wise. Um, she definitely rocked the style as far as um, you know, that she was a vampire basically, tarot reader vampire, and um, she wore the look so well. She was one of the few gimmicks where she actually totally owned the look and that's why she's on this list um not because she's a phenomenal wrestler because i'm going to be the first one to say that was really never wowed by anything she did in the ring to see her wrestle you would have to see any of the stuff from um you know her indie circuit days because she really did not wrestle in the wwe she had a couple of really 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 short matches but most of it was posturing and uh like spooking out you know the the girl she was wrestling against and um you know so it wasn't really that she was a phenomenal wrestler while she was with WWE, um, but uh, you know, honestly, it was just the reason she makes me so happy is because she had an incredible style. She was absolutely gorgeous. So that's why she makes me happy. Um, it wasn't really anything to do with the wrestling, to be honest, and I know that's kind of a shallow thing to look at, but she is one of the few that could actually wear that style and not make it look hokey or like somebody dressed her up in the back room and she had no idea what she was doing. You could tell that Shelly really likes to wear this kind of stuff on her day to day. Uh, and so the fact that she got to wear that in the ring was just kind of a bonus. Um, so, uh, you know, the whole gimmick, the Ariel Kevin Thorne uh, matchup stable was so fun and entertaining to me. That entrance, come on, that entrance is incredible. It just, you know, I, I thought that was just a really cool time in wrestling that that could even fly for the amount of time that it did. Um, and so it really did. It, it was fun. It was really just fun. And no, there wasn't a whole lot of really phenomenal uh, pieces of, of work in the ring. Um, but Kevin Thorne, on the other hand, um, he is another one of those brutal powerhouse uh, type wrestlers that I absolutely love. So we could kind of look at this as a twosome for this uh, uh, wrestlers that make me happy because you know Kevin Thorne was was definitely a, a talented wrestler. Um, I loved his brutal style. I liked uh, I like his lariat a lot. Um, it was one of my favorite lariats. And on top of that, it was just the dynamic that those two had in the ring. I just really liked them as as a couple. Like they were really great. I actually have two uh, action figures. <laughs> I have the Ariel and Kevin Thorne action figures at my desk at work right now. That's how much I like them. So, you know, this is going to be one of those controversial ones that it's like, no, she's not that great of a wrestler. Um, you know, she. She definitely, uh, I think, is suited better for the modeling aspect of her career, but, uh, but she was entertaining. She was so entertaining while we had her. On the professional circuit, she just didn't um, have what it took to really hold on to fans, I think, um, because the gimmick was there, and that was awesome, but that was a short period of time, right? You know, people aren't into that kind of thing as much as they are anymore. Um, that that was the magic of the Attitude Era, you know, and and they came at, um, at the tail end of the Attitude Era, so that was on its way out anyway. So they're kind of doomed as a stable, which is really sad. But um, but while they while we had them, 
man, they put a smile on my face. Every time that entrance music came in and they struck fear into all of their enemies, it was a, it was a great gimmick. And it looked, it looked so fun uh, for both of them to be involved. And um, I really do miss it. So, so that's going to do it. Uh, like and subscribe. Do all the wonderful stuff that you do. Share amongst your friends. Um, I really love doing these. I'm going to have a little bit of a, a, an actual, like, wrestler wrestler that has some talent in the ring and has kind of a longer lineage so this is going to be one of my shorter videos just because there wasn't really a whole lot of content to go over um it's really just how phenomenal she looked in the ring <laughs> um but uh it it kind of struck a nice little piece of my heart you know it made me feel not so crazy not so weird to see her in the ring donning those just awesome looks um but yeah um thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your time and uh, I hope you enjoyed it and uh, please let me know what you think in the comments below or you can email me or reach out to me with uh, Tumblr, Twitter. Um, I'll leave all of that in the comments and that way you can get in touch with me. Happy Halloween everybody!